What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar. Man, why wow, my face looks so fucking greasy on this camera? Oh well. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar, and uh, we chilling. And I got some, gotta make some new videos for y'all. And uh, this is from Chisa Z, another person we like to react to. Um, this is Dr. Umar gets proven right, and. I want to know what he got proven right, right about. We're finna, we're finna sit back and watch it. This had to have pissed a lot of chicks off. They pay <laughs> for stuff. <laughs> ah, you know they're mad. One of my men said this. He just got drafted. He said, bro, I was dating a black girl. Now I'm dating a white girl. I'm about to marry her. He oh, said, the I difference between the black girl and the white girl, the biggest difference is the white girl. I seen this video on Instagram. They got really mad at dude. And they was like, what is what's going on? Hold on. Ray. Oh shit, jump. What's up, bro? Oh shit, Ray. What up, bro? Appreciate the Ray, bro. Man, I'm I wasn't even paying attention, bro. I appreciate y'all joining your boy on this. Right when I did it, I got an ad too. <laughs> That's fucking Twitch, bro. I appreciate y'all pulling up on. I'm just reacting to a this video, but I was saying this I remember this dude's video on uh Instagram and like all the black girls got mad saying like they don't want him and stuff when he was just the messenger like he did nothing wrong all he did was just tell you know everybody what his bros were saying but we finna uh we finna watch the video and react to it the white girl knows when to shut the I said god Somebody give this gentleman a badge with the words barista on it, please. I wasn't ready for this. Joseph Beach, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. So guys, I have an official stance on this NFL topic and NFL white girlfriends. And in this case, we're about to talk about the NFL black girlfriends. And I think you guys are gonna agree with me here because can y'all hear good? A lot of you will remember this. Do you remember this video right here? It was several black women and they were doing some TikTok trend thing and getting in front of the camera and saying, we're NFL girlfriends. Of course, we're going to the Super Bowl. And this video went viral. You guys probably remember this video. I saw it on the shade room. It was on TikTok. It was everywhere. And um, I want to address that video. And I also want to touch a little bit more on NFL black women who are wives like Simone Biles and I'm sure there are other women out there they're just not on camera a bunch and that's probably why those men chose them right but anyways let's check out this video do you guys remember this why did people have a problem with them making this video like, I'm lost on this. What's wrong with this video? Is it because they're a bunch of black girls? NFL girlfriends, of course we're going Like, why was it, why did it go viral? Or did it go viral because they're black? Yes! We're NFL girlfriends and so All right, so that video is the one I'm talking about. And it was pretty popular. But I remember something about that specific video. I remember reading the comments and the majority of the comments from black women were, oh, wow, it's good to finally see black women who are in relationships with black NFL players. And that's not where it ended, though. Most of the comments were saying things like, these girls look so basic. And they were sizing up these women as far as their... How do they look basic? Bro, the internet is a cruel goddamn place, bro. God, the internet cruel. Her looks went. Most of the comments were saying that over and over again. Like, I don't get it. Why them? Why them? Why not me? I started to think, like, obviously there's jealousy there. But it's deeper than that, man. Is This points back to how much women don't realize that men want peace. Why not you? Because you're probably a headache. Because the things that men say that they want, a lot of times you label as 
misogyny. And that right there, the way that those women were commenting, you would label as misogyny. I don't think those women really came to that conclusion. If you're a man and you're building something, if you're a man and there's a lot on the line, if you're making that much money, as much money as they are, or if you're a man out here on his purpose, you don't have to be some famous. You could be a man out here who just values your professional life. Maybe you're planning to move up in your professional life. You don't want to deal with a woman, especially as you as you ascend higher and higher and have more responsibility and you're making more money and more is on the line you don't want somebody who just looks good the outside doesn't matter as much as the inside that woman's characteristics her attributes etc and the fact that when black women saw those black girlfriends who were dating black nfl players they immediately started judging their looks shows that they that's fucked up and they be wondering why they don't get picked or something first man black women get so judgmental bro like why instead of like seeing a black woman a black female with you know a famous football player or whatever instead of judging them on their looks they should be happy like they're the first ones complaining they're the first ones complaining about black dudes dating too many white girls when they you know do a professional sport and then you see them dating black men doing the professional sport and they get upset it don't make no goddamn sense like it's back it's bro, it's backwards out here bro that's so backwards. they just lack an understanding of what men are looking for especially in that position as we see over and over again but anyways people spoke so illy of those women that other women started to chime in and call them out for exactly that check it out so one thing i do hate about this app is like i always see the debates about black men like selling out when they get put on when they start making money they go date outside their race and then the moment the exact moment black women are celebrating their black men proud of it but also showing themselves black women go and attack them and say you're basic you're this you're that in the Bro, third what? right why as another black woman would you go and tear down other black women because this is what you wanted to see right this is what you wanted to see this is the representation you've been crying about debating ignorant ass dudes about Right. online right. but the moment it happens the girls are basic they're this that that this that and that like why because they don't have like a bbl because they don't have their breasts done possibly they look like, that's how na care? right that's how natural women look like women so caught up on like this fake body that drake done made famous and i know i just got a jab at drake but still like so many people think that you have to have these unrealistic unnatural bodies to be beautiful and there was nothing wrong with those women they're and they were naturally beautiful like they all didn't have no work done or nothing and they got dog for it that's so weird bro right a lot of these chicks just have the the, the whole game messed up you try to tell them men love natural and they're not really into all that other extra stuff oh that's not what we see they're not gonna listen and then when it's finally shown that that stuff is proven then now you know they are judging and saying well i have a bbl why aren't i up there oh wow these women are basic because in your mind you can't rationalize the fact that well what is she like how is she as a person right and after seeing this and seeing other videos, I think my conclusion to this whole discussion is it just comes down to the attributes of that woman and who she is as a person and has less to do with her outer appearance. This, this, this doesn't mean that men don't in those positions don't care about looks. It's not what I'm trying to say. Because you know they're going to flip it. Oh, but they're going to cheat on them and they're all cheaters. Okay, yeah. Sure. They're going to stay. Well, it's wrong. Well, they're staying. They know you won't. You know, it's, this is just the truth. I'm not justifying or saying it's right or wrong. 
And I'm not saying those men should, men should not be cheating on women over and over again. But I think men have a good idea of realizing the type of woman who will be bitter, unforgiving, difficult, disagreeable, all those things. And then, and then there's the other conversation, which women brought up. A lot of women have chimed into this conversation, pointing out how a lot of these chicks, and we're talking about the white girlfriends here, invest in these men earlier on. Early on, they're investing in these women. They're making sure that they're not liabilities, but they're investing in these men earlier on. They're not expecting to just take, take, take. But they're investing earlier on maybe sometimes even before they know everything's for sure or not and oddly this is right right on online with uh what dr umar pretty much said that snow bunnies had over a lot of black women he said this check it out manages the snow bunnies have on our women is snow bunnies on a dusty brother <laughs> and see his skill his talent you feel me yeah invest in him in college and by the time he become a multi-millionaire at 35 she's been with him the whole walk you see that a lot of sisters are not going to do that. They're not going to find a dusty brother in his senior year or dusty brother in the community. But you see, he got this business idea. She like, nah, come back and see me when it's up and running. I don't think this ever going to happen. So nobody invested in him. You feel me? Ten that. years later, the same brother see you. You trying to holler. He got the white girl and it came to you. You said you want a ready-made black man. And then there's also this other Damn. video that was made by Lil Goody on TikTok. Damn. Damn. I mean, it's true. Damn. Can he? Rebuke that one. TikTok, who described his personal experience hearing it from the horse's mouth. Let's listen. Why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted this is why having I, white women? What's going this on? This is why I clicked on the video. I uh, I see that that's all. That's I am all. going to I tell. Not do dudes like that. Let me not do bro like that. But uh, this is the one I seen. It was let me click on the video, and everybody went at his neck because. Of what he was saying and they was projecting like he was saying this when he was stating like no bro like i date black women and i'm hearing this from the bros like the bros was telling him this they still went at his neck like he was just a messenger and they don't care folks don't care they're gonna hear what they hear and, and folks don't listen no more their attention spans are TikTok level like folks attention span ruined like this is awful so what he was saying if you just sat and listened to him it wasn't the fact it wasn't he wasn't saying anything wrong and on top of that he was getting this information from his friends and he was just saying this and everybody like attacked him it was awful bro it was fucked up in them comments bro as someone that is friends with let me uh let me rewind it back uh what's it right here why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women? What's going on? I am going to tell you, as someone that is friends with a lot of D1 football players and D1 basketball players, I'm going to tell you because they have told me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get into this, I want to make it clear I'm only into black women. I'm just telling Yeah, he and he made his known like he was just telling when they still went at his neck. But as somebody who went to a, I went to Vanderbilt and that's all I saw was he's not wrong you know what i'm saying and he's not wrong it's up bro like just to my homie my one of my best friends in college he used to cut hair and so everybody would come get it, their hair cut from him and we would just be chilling kicking shit and like everything he said is true and now all those dudes are married to those girls that they met in college and stuff like that and majority of them were white girls telling you what they have told me my man said bro how many white women have you seen do the Megan Stallion challenge and he said excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being white and it's one girl that i know she it was only one girl i knew that got with a football player in college and uh i think they broke up his senior year but it's just like out of all the ones I've seen in relationships, it was one dude that dated a black girl, or one black girl that, like, stuck it through with him. And it just sucks. It, it sucks, but it's the reality of the shit. Or what are you about to say? Only one. He said, okay. Y'all, five of my guys that play on Division One Power 5 football teams, and they start, they were like, Goody, you know the type of NIL deals we got. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl, 
she heard about the deal I got and started to request money. Apple Pays and Cash Apps. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. She heard about the money and started to request. Could it be that this whole, I'm the table, I'm not going to settle down if he's not paying a bill, and why do I need a man if I'm going to live the same life, that this rhetoric that's just getting preached and shouted from the rooftops to a lot of modern women and very strongly in the black community amongst women is actually hurting them? Could that be the truth? Let's keep listening for her hair and nails. Oh shit. My other friends were saying, bro, I would try to take her out to Chipotle, Cava, this and this and that. She would get mad talking about why are we going to steakhouses? You're good for it. Damn. Like, oh shit. They were like, bro, the white women, they're down to go and get a cup of coffee, go, go and get some Hold oh, nah. up. <laughs> Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Did he say what I think he said? <laughs> Did he say, well, don't put a smile on my face, dog. The white women? They're down to go and get a cup of coffee. <laughs> Listen. Listen. He all about the coffee. Married man. My wife's black, drinks coffee. But shout out to those chicks. Shout out to those chicks. Go, go and get some ice cream. My friends were like, bro, the white women we're dating, they pay for a lot of our stuff. I said, what do you mean? They said, bro, they know that we're making some money. But while we're at practice or... This had to have pissed a lot of chicks off. Oh, they, they pay for stuff. <laughs> ah, you know they're mad. We're at camp. They got us our favorite combo bowl, double chicken, right? Waiting for them to come out of practice. My wow. friends are telling me these girls are getting their group projects done, getting their essays done, online tests done, on time. I said, wait, what? I said, bro, what about maintenance? There's no way y'all are not paying for her hair, nails, bags, her lifestyle. He said, bro. First of all, my girl will get her own Starbucks and even get me one. But if I want to be nice, I'll get her something, you know, from Starbucks. And they were like, hair and nails. They don't even care about the nails, really. You know, and if they do it, they do it themselves. Sometimes I, you know, I pitch in and I was like, all right, what about hair? They were like, bro, she's white. She just brushes it. We're flat arms. She wants to be special. Natural hair, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to help y'all out. Jesus Christ. You guys are saving a lot of money. <laughs> one of my men said this. He just got drafted. He said, bro, I was dating a black girl. Now mm. I'm dating a white girl. And I'm about to marry her. He said, the difference between the black girl and the white girl, the biggest difference is the white girl knows when to shut the f I said, God damn. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't even going to read the comments, but now we have to. Merce. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Somebody give this gentleman a badge with the words barista on it, please. Listen, this is what they told me. Do with the information as you please. If it takes me 10 to 15 years to find a black woman that's compatible with me, that's what I'm going to do. But this is what they told me. So stop being surprised. <laughs> I feel you, man. I feel you. I've dated black women my whole life. But attracted to black women my whole life. I knew I wasn't going to end up with anything else. But <sighs> the stress. The stress. <laughs> um, we're definitely checking out some comments here. First comment says, have a bowl with double chicken. With the question marks, would have folded. Somebody else here says, Dr. Umar not going to like that. I don't know. Dr. Umar. What is Kava? I want to know what Kava is now. Might agree. Dr. Umar might agree. Here's somebody else who says, so the grass is greener on the other side. Somebody else here added, as an African woman, I agree. Ooh, African woman. My man black and he told me one thing he loves about me. I don't be asking him for money, for hair, nails, and luxury things. I'm cool with a picnic date we have a black woman okay so the, the last one was a black woman but you know african and here we have an american-born black woman she says he not lying here's another person who says support they show support and i think no. that's it i think that's it i think that's it because there's no way if you're doing all that if you're giving and supporting and you're giving and not expecting that that man won't bless you seven times, 10 times as his wife. Come on now. Here's another comment that says, man, they be playing the long game because once that divorce hit, they take everything. Hey, hey, hey. It works, right? That's a different discussion, but it, it's shit. 
Another comment here says, you're good for it is insane. <laughs> that is hella funny. Somebody else here says, I think people should love who they want to love. I agree. I agree, man. I agree. I agree. They don't. Like I that. agree. Guys, I want you to pay attention to this comment from a woman who's realizing that like, yo, they're doing all this stuff. They're doing all this stuff for those men. She says, this is a black chick. She says, we are doomed. And this was the response to somebody else. They said, <laughs> change that mentality. Stop listening to other women. Because I bet you, bro, I bet you, I bet you, these women run into these athletes. They're dating them for a little bit. And then who's in their ear? Their black girlfriends saying things like, wait, so you're dating an NFL player, girl? You playing for your own gas? You doing this? You doing that? I mean, if I was, I mean, if I, you know what I mean? They're hyping each other up to make horrible decisions. It's that hive mindset. And of course they start acting different, start listening to Shiri Seven. Next thing they know, they're back on TikTok talking about, do my makeup with me as I tell you about the time I dated an NFL player and then had to watch him get married. Oh my gosh. Ooh, right. <laughs> this he was. Anyway, that, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, y'all like this video? Comment. Tell me how y'all feel. Come at me in the comments like y'all always do. Uh, until the next one.